Fiery in the big room. On the bill with the Kooks tonight at the Newport Music Hall, their EP comes out on the 14th, as we just learned together. Introduce the band, if you would. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my writing partner in crime to my right is Kyle Sears. Hello. Hello, everyone. And this strapping young lad over here with the long hair is Miles Johnson. Uh, back, on, back on keyboards and uh, samples is Ryan Lewis. And then uh, the best drummer I've ever played with in my life, Joe Mingus. He's one of my best buddies. Yeah. So you guys are all from Portland then? Yeah. Yes. Um, I imagine when you travel now, people go, well, is it like that TV show? <laughs> is every day like Portlandia in Portland? Do you Very get that close. question? We do, every, every we day. We get the question every, every interview. <laughs> yeah, well, I figured. Do you, are you fans? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, good. You yeah, find it funny, because I find it funny. Yeah, Emerson's it's pretty, phenomenal. It's pretty dead on. Yeah. It's about right. <laughs> yeah, we just say, yeah, it's just like that. Yeah. Yep, so, uh, I, I lived, I grew up in the Northwest, lived in Seattle many, many years ago, and it was a great place for musicians to do what you guys do, and that's quit your jobs, really focus in on, on the craft. And then Seattle became very gentrified, and everybody moved to Portland. Do you find that Portland, and it, obviously you only have your own experience, but is it is still a place that's affordable enough for someone who's trying to make it in music, which is hard enough? It absolutely is. I would say uh, barista jobs are hard to come by. <laughs> it's the most coveted job in Portland. And since there's this influx, because people think now as, of Portland as a cool city, and so everybody wants to move there and, and work a minimum wage job 15 hours a week, and those jobs just don't exist anymore. You, can't, uh, you cannot I, get the 15-hour-a-week barista job. You can't do it. I, I literally grew up downtown, uh, you know, like off Broadway and Jefferson, and the city has changed a bunch. I think it's become substantially more, quote-unquote, hip in the last decade or so. Yeah. But, I mean, this, if you move to the outskirts, uh, like the you know, southeast area, love, North Portland love, and it's still affordable. It's still yeah. doable. And, the, and the, art, the biggest thing is the art community is incredible. Yeah, well, that's, that's the idea I get, that it's always been very supportive of, of artists. But also, I read, and this was a long time ago, maybe it's not true anymore, but Portland has more strip clubs per capita than any other city in America. Is vegan. That, they got vegan ones. <laughs> vegan strip clubs. That's a, that's a literal thing. <laughs> that's a literal thing. <laughs> what's yeah. it called? There's got to be a pun oh, in there what somewhere. What's it called? De what, do you guys know what that one's called? The vegan strip uh, <laughs> it's, like, it's something with it, something like devil something. Or something. Quick, someone get out, Tom, get out your phone Tom, and Google vegan strip. Oh, Casa Diablo, and it's like a little bit out of the city. Casa the, Diablo, the vegan strip club. It sounds like a Portlandia sketch. I think is what I it think sounds like. I've heard that things get weird. I've heard I'm that sure. things get weird. Yeah. Well, we brought it all full circle. <laughs> Thanks for that. I, I'm gonna. I'm never going to forget that one. That is great. A vegan strip club, only in Portland. Well, we, we appreciate uh, getting to know you guys today. The EP out on the 14th, opening tonight for the Kooks. Yeah, yeah. And uh, once again, thanks for Priory for coming in. How about another song? We'll turn you loose.